What is the Alienware 13? The Alienware 13 is the latest portable laptop from Dell's premium gaming brand. Like the Razer Blade and Gigabyte Aero 14, it aims to offer buyers a compact gaming system that's powerful enough to play AAA games at 1080p, but small and light enough to be carried around without becoming a burden. Featuring a wealth of customization choices, an optional LED screen and one of the best keyboards I've seen on a laptop, the Alienware delivers on performance, but its chunky chassis means it's a little too heavy and thick to comfortably carry around in the regular satchel or backpack. Alienware 13 Design Dell sells the 2017 Alienware 13 in a wealth of different configurations that range in the price from £1,249 to £1,849. All versions feature the same chassis, ports, keyboard and trackpad as last year's model, which is both a blessing and a curse. From a connectivity and usability point of view the design is excellent. Dell has loaded the Alienware with all the connectivity options any modern gamer will ever need. There are two USB 3.0 ports, a single USB-C and Thunderbolt Gen 3 for high-end peripherals, plus an HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, Alienware Graphics Samp Proprietary Connector, Ethernet, Headphone Socket and Microphone Jack. I'm not a fan of the majority of the connections being sat on the back of the laptop. Though some members of the team preferred this setup, for me it reinforces the feeling that Alienware 13 is a desktop replacement that's designed to spend the majority of its time on a desk, not carried around like a regular laptop. This feeling is reinforced by the laptop's chunky dimensions. Compared to the recent batch of thin and light clamshell gaming laptops, the Alienware 13 looks a little old school, and not in a good way. The new 13 is thinner and lighter than older Alienwares, measuring in at 22 mm thick. It feels too large for a regular laptop bag. This is also due to its giant screen bezel, but it's mainly because the laptop's cooling and rear ports stick over an inch out of the laptop's back. The bump dramatically increases the laptop's footprint and meant it didn't comfortably fit in any of the regular 13-inch laptop bags I tried and was an outright bust in my satchel, which has managed to house 15-inch laptops in the past. The Alienware's 2.6 kg weight is also fairly excessive for a 13-incher. Both the Razer Blade and Aero 14, which have similar specifications to the Alienware, weigh less than 2 kg and are much thinner. The Alienware does feel well made, which is helped by a feeling of density. There's a lot of stuff inside this 13-inch machine. The magnesium alloy chassis is one of the most robust feeling I've seen, and I've no doubt it'll survive a few knocks while being carried in a bag. It's also pleasingly resistant to smudges, which is more than can be said for the razor blade. Alienware 13, Keyboard and Trackpad the keyboard and trackpad remain key selling points for the Alienware 13. Like the 2016 Skylake version, the 2017 models features an Alienware Tax keyboard. The keys aren't as responsive as a dedicated mechanical gaming keyboard, but they're a noticeable step up from the chiclet keys on rivals such as the Razer Blade. The keys feel more responsive and have a pleasing 2.2 mm of travel and solid click action that makes the Razer's Bard feel spongy by comparison. A steel plate underneath the Tax keyboard also eliminates any flex. Even during heated gaming sessions the laptop chassis didn't bow at all, no matter how hard I mashed the keys. This made it much better to play intense sports and shooters on than competing gaming laptops, like the Aero 14 which feature fairly malleable plastic cases. A touchpad is never a valid replacement for a mouse during gaming, but for general browsing and everyday use the Alienware 13s is more than good enough. The trackpad is suitably large and reliably reactive, and I never had any issues with multi-touch actions during my two weeks with the device. The physical left and right click buttons are also a welcome addition that makes the trackpad more comfortable to use than older Alienwares. RGB lighting fans will also be pleased to hear that the trackpad and keyboard have Alien FX lighting controls. The pad is limited to single color configurations, 
but the keyboard is split into four customizable multicolor RGB zones. I'm personally not a fan of making my laptop look like a carnival, but it's nice to have the choice. The version I tested also came with a TBII tracker. The tracker is sat next to the front-facing web camera and, in theory, can be used to control some games and create heat maps of where you were looking when recording gameplay. It should also help save battery power by intelligently dimming the screen when you look away for prolonged periods. This all sounds great, but in practice I found it slightly annoying and turned the tracker off after the first few days, as it was a little too reactive and had a tendency to dim the screen whenever I so much as glanced away from it. Alienware 13 Display the Alienware 13 is available with three screen options. The bottom end 1,249 pounds version comes with a basic 13.3 inch HD, 1,366 by 768 TN screen, which is a bit cheeky at this price. For a proper screen, you'll need to can upgrade to the 1080p panel on the two middle 1,349 pounds and 1,499 pounds models. The flagship 1,849 pounds model I tested comes with a premium 13.3 inch QHD, 2,560 by 1,440 OLED touch screen. OLED tech is still a rarity in the laptop market although it's becoming more common on smartphones and TVs. This tech, on paper, should let the top spec Alienware offer significantly better black levels and more vibrant colors. With real-world use the OLED panel doesn't disappoint. Blacks on the Alienware are among the deepest I've seen on a laptop and make for a significantly more immersive gaming experience, especially when playing atmospheric titles like Resident Evil 7. The inkier blacks also make colors look more vibrant, which works great with comic-like games such as Overwatch. I also didn't notice any input lag, thanks to the screen's 120Hz refresh rate. Alienware 13 Performance Dell offers the Alienware 13 in a variety of different options which are split into four tiers. The top-end OLED model comes with a quad-core 3.8 GHz Intel Core i7-7700HQ CPU, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 GPU with 6 GB DDR5 VRAM, 16 GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 2400 MHz and a 256 GB SpeedyPK SSD as standard. All the tiers below come with 8GB DDR4 RAM clocked at 2400 MHz and a smaller, slower 180GB SATA SSD as standard. Those who wish to can also swap the i7 for a lower end Intel Core i5-7300HQ CPU and swap the GPU for a GTX 1050 or GTX 1050T. Adding a further layer of complexity, each tier has a variety of different upgrade options that let you increase the size of the SSD and RAM. The baseline OLED model I reviewed performed pretty much as expected, and matched similarly specced versions of the Razer Blade and Gigabyte Aero 14. The Alienware ran in with 4,195 single-core and 14,062 multi-core scores on the CPU-focused Geekbench 4 benchmark. The Blade and Arrow 14 scored 4,094 twelfths, 442 and 4,229 twelfths, 903 respectively when running the same test. Alienware 13 Battery Gaming laptops never have decent battery lives, as they put performance over efficiency, but the Alienware 13's 76 watt hours battery is far from the worst I've tested. Running Trusted Review Synthetic Battery Test, which loops 10 minutes of web browsing and 5 minutes of video playback using PowerMark with a screen brightness at 150 nits, the Alienware managed to last 5 hours, 9 minutes the blade by comparison struggled to make it past 4 hours running the same test. The Gigabyte Aero 14 conquered this test, though, with a score of over 7 hours. Gaming put a larger drain on the battery. Playing games off the mains the Alienware never lasted more than a few hours. It also won't get you through a full working day without needing a charge, but that's pretty standard for a gaming laptop.
using the 13 as my work laptop starting at 9.30 and the laptop tapped out at around 